What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Edge. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to create a bouncing picture gallery. So let's get started, I'm going to go file import and I'm going to select my images over here. And I have four thumbnails and four regular size images. And I'm going to delete these images from the stage. Let's take one thumbnail over here. And let's grab the rest of them. When someone clicks on a thumbnail, this will be able to populate the image on the right hand side. Let's set one keyframe for the location, and then set another keyframe for location. I'm just looking from the left to the right hand side how this is aligning. I'm going to move this over a little bit. Okay, so that looks better. So the next thing we want to do is make the picture bounce. Click over here on the timeline, and instead of linear, we're going to select ease out bounce. And when I play this, you'll see the picture is going to bounce. I'm just going to expand this so it takes a little bit more time. And that's better. The next thing I want to do is create a trigger and select stop. And the reason I'm doing this is that when somebody opens up this page, that this will stop right here. Now this is going to be considered number one. Control L and call this one. Now if you watched any of my other tutorials, I showed you how to um, take this button and convert the cursor into a pointer. And I'll show you. Control Enter. And you notice when I come over here, it doesn't turn into that pointer that you're familiar with. So now we're going to right click on the thumbnail, convert the symbol, and we're going to call this one. For number two, we'll call it two. And then we're going to right click on the first thumbnail and we're going to go to open actions and select mouse over. And we're going to put in the code over here. So now I'm going to copy and paste this for the other buttons. Call this two. Call this three. and call this four. Let's go control enter just to make sure this works. So now when you go over these buttons, it turns to a pointer. Now the next thing we want to do is make these buttons work. So let's right click on open actions. And we're going to select click. And this time it's going to play one. And that's the label one that I had over here. So when I click that button, that's what's going to happen. We're going to create a second label called 2. And this time when I come over here to 2, we're going to line it up. And let me just come back here to 1 to make sure I have my um, coordinates correct. It's negative 344. And when it lands, it's 100. So we're going to put a keyframe over here for the location. And same thing that we did before. We'll put 100. And number 2 lands over here. Now you see number one is still over there, so what we're going to do is this. Right here with number one, we're going to turn it off. So that's a cool feature in Adobe Edge. We're going to come over here to number two, the same thing that we did before. Instead of linear, we're going to select an ease out bounce. And again, put a trigger, and I'm going to select stop. Then I'm going to come over here to the second thumbnail, open actions. Select click. Play in quotations two. So now come over here to the timeline and we're going to create another label called number three. And let's come over here and create one more four. Now you notice number two is still here so let's click on this and select off. And we're going to select our third image number three and it goes to minus 334 and 310 was the other coordinate. So it's lined up. Click on the timeline over here and select Ease Out Bounce. Control T for a trigger. Select Stop. Right click on the third thumbnail. Open Actions. Select Click. Play. 
M3. We're going to take this image and turn it off. Take the fourth image. Another trigger. Select stop. And we're going to select ease out bounce again. Select click. Play. In quotations, four. For number four, we're just going to select on. Control enter to test this. So that's how it starts out. Number two, number three, number four. Go back to number one. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. That's a bouncing picture gallery in Adobe Edge. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.